What's up guys? Welcome to the Koopa Kitchen Journey and we are here with another Cochinari uh, unboxing and a uh, product. It's not so much going to be a review because what we're going to be looking at is the Cochinari Gooseneck Kettle uh, which is kind of tailor designed for coffee drinkers. Um, and I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I'm going to give you an overview of the product. Uh, and if you decide that this is something that you want to check out, you can click the link in the description below if you want to buy one. Uh, it will help the channel out a little bit, or you can also buy it on Amazon. Uh, with the code that I have, it's 15% off, which makes it about the same price as it is on Amazon, except you help me. So if you decide this is up your alley, uh, certainly help out the channel and give that a click. With that, let's take a look at it. So this is the box that it comes in. Again, uh, as with the other products we've got, the box always seems like a, a really cool looking box. Let's open it up. Uh, you can see the list of products there. There is the blender. We've done a review on that. We really liked the blender. Um, and then there's the ice cream maker. Did a review on that. I actually kind of liked it, but I haven't used it since I made the review. Uh, and uh, you can check out the links in the description if you want to check out the reviews on those products. And we open this guy up, and here, um, again, the app. I've talked about the app in past videos. Um, I don't know if they've done any updates on it, but with the ice cream maker, it was kind of frustrating because there wasn't really any recipes specifically for the ice cream, for that ice cream maker, which was annoying. Um, and so you can check out that app if you want. It comes in this card, a uh, little container here, right here, but that's not what we're here to look at today. And then here's a thick piece of foam. And let's see what's under this piece. So this is the base, obviously. And I guess this was probably maybe in there before. I don't know. That's just an empty spot there. And then we pull out the base. Um, okay, let's pull the foam through. Uh, there so kind of heavy duty if you've ever had an electric kettle before that's what this is except uh, It has some extra features on it that I guess are tailor-made for coffee drinkers. Oh Okay, so there's actually three colors you can get with this you can get the white the black or the rainforest And I was really hoping that I, they would send me the rainforest one because this looks really cool uh, It is plastic mostly around that's metal clearly there um, there's the inside of it uh, right there and kind of what's going to set this apart from uh, say this the Amazon basic electric kettle that you get is this gooseneck uh, edge to it and this allows for precision pouring so it goes right where you need it to be um, and then on the inside of this there are some directions I didn't see anywhere where it said how much this holds and there are some helpful directions there how to clean it um, how to remove line scale scientifically so that's pretty cool uh, and they show some pictures of what lime scale looks like so looking back oh there's another piece in here I missed what does this go to all right so this is a little hot pad that you can set it on uh, so that um, modern bon viage. I don't know. This was clearly designed by someone. It says it's designed right there, but that's a nice little hat pad, and there is the cap to it. Looking back at the base, it does have a grounded plug, so I imagine that means that there's going to be a bit of power to it. And then you probably can't see it on the camera at all, but there is. Uh, a little section that says Celsius and Fahrenheit, timer, start, and hold. So kind of the selling point with this is that you can set it to precise temperatures. It does come to boil in 70 seconds. Uh, you know, with Amazon Basics or just the regular water kettles that you get, the, yeah, they're going to be 20 bucks, going to be a lot cheaper, is they get the water to boil and then they're done. Um, I don't know. Maybe my coffee drinkers out there could tell me how important getting the exact temperature is. Uh, but that's what this says this is going to do. So we're going to take it in the kitchen. We're going to put some water in it. We're going to test some of the functions out and we're going to see what it does. So we got it plugged in. We're going to go ahead and fill this up and uh, you can see on the inside. I don't know if you can see or not, but right about there, there's a little nub where this connects and uh, it says max on there. So we can't fill it past that. So we're going to get it filled up and see how long it takes to warm up. 
and I still have not been able to find out how big this kettle actually is. It does say 0.9, so maybe it's 0.9 liters. I, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, the water goes to about there, and you can make do with that. So there's four buttons here. There's hold, start, timer, uh, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. And so we're gonna push the start button. So after you push this start button, what you got is this knob right here, and it'll change your temperature set by degrees there. And it's already warming up. You can see it's going 92, 93, 94, um, and you can change it while it's warming up. And the first time you get it, it says to set it to 212 degrees, and uh, that way you can clean it out, and that's what we're going to do. So it's been going for, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds at this point, and you can hear it starting to sound like a spaceship, which is pretty good. That's what we want, right? So it has been less than the 70 seconds. Now that could be because the water that I put in was already warm, but she's beeping. So what we could do now actually is there's a hold button here and when we push it, when the temperature drops a couple degrees below your 212, that base will kick back on. And so it'll keep the temperature that you want it to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a little bit into our mug here and we're gonna check the temperature with this. Now I don't, this is not an internal like probe thermometer. So uh, it's not gonna be as accurate as if we used one of those, but it should at least tell us how we're doing. A little bit anyway. Now again, not being a coffee drinker, not having to tip this thing all the way over like you would have to do with a regular electric kettle is actually kind of nice. Plenty of steam coming off of it. We'll pop that back on. And I just noticed this, you won't be able to see it, but when I take the kettle off, it uh, turns off the temperature because it's obviously not gauging any temperature. And as soon as I put it back on, that temperature came back up. And uh, while we're testing this out, we'll see if it, it starts heating up again. So that got up to about 176 degrees. We'll pop off the inside of the kettle here. It says it has a 60 minute uh, where it will keep temperature. Now, obviously if it's on hold on this thing, that shouldn't be an issue. And when I click that in there, we got to 194 degrees. This also does come with a timer function. It says it's a five minute timer. I don't know what that means because I have not found anything on their website that says how to use that five minute timer or what its purpose is. When I click it, it counts down three, two, one, zero, and then it starts counting up. Now, if it's five minutes, I mean, that would by seconds, whatever five times 60 is. Uh, I'm not gonna do that in my brain right now. Um, but I don't know what, what function that really holds it did just kick back on so it's doing that that hold function uh, it sounds like it's boiling again actually right now so if I were using this uh, I'd be using it for hot chocolate uh, ironically it's the thing that I don't think I would use as much as a lot of people but for all the coffee drinkers out there especially those that want to make their own coffee and Cochinardi has a grinder coming out as well uh, this is kind of a, a cool little addition and it's pretty uh, if you want something that looks cool on your countertop this does look really cool so let me know in the comments below I can't really drop a review on it because again I don't drink coffee I can microwave my water for hot chocolate having the exact right temperature isn't that big of a deal for me uh, being able to keep temperature is kind of nice if I'm wanting to, you know, make multiple things of coffee over and over again, that's kind of cool, or uh, being able to keep it at that exact temperature is kind of nice. But let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good deal, if you think it's worth it. If you want to buy it, it's $109 on Cochinari's website. The Rainforest one is $109 on Cochinari's website. It's $159 on Amazon. That's if you use my 15% off code down in the description and it'll help out the channel. If you do buy it from Cochinari, you are getting a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, there's a warranty associated associated with it as well. Just go to the website and check out everything they have to say. Hey, uh, I love you guys. It just kicked on again. I hope you find this video informational and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.